anybody who knows me knows that I like snacks and Japan has some of the best snacks in the world. Um, I also don't have a lot of self-control when it comes to snacks. So on my way home today, they have koron for only a hundred yen. Yeah, it says colon with an extra L, but it's pronounced koron. I think it's from the sound of falling. Korobu is to fall and when you conjugate it, it turns into kuronde. So I think koron is a onomatopoeic sound of that. But I don't know. If you actually know, tell me. Milk rich col colon koron. What am I supposed to call this when I'm speaking English? We'll say koron. That's actually what it is. And saying I'm eating colon doesn't really, you know. Just buying this up, but that's not so bad. The problem is. Like I said, I don't have a lot of self-control, so not only did I buy koron in milk-rich flavor, but I was like, oh, strawberry! Strawberry, is this different? Thick strawberry? There seems to actually be 20% real strawberry. I have my doubts. Strawberry powder, which I don't think is actually strawberries, because strawberries don't grow in powder form. Anyway, strawberry, koron. Could it get any better? And the answer is yes. They also had Koron Cafe Latte style. This is an unfortunately small portion in my personal opinion. That is not an unusual problem in Japan. So we have milk rich, thick strawberry, and cafe latte flavors. All of them in like slightly different permutations of packaging. Let's open. Alright. Open it like a box, so you can close it again. Ha! Huh, because I'm going to finish these immediately. I don't even know what the point is, but thanks. And then inside there's a bag. And you open it like this. Oh, look at that. What is a koron, you might be asking? This is, it looks like, it's kind of like a really, do you know those coffee straws that are usually like really flaky and crunchy on the outside and chocolate on the inside? I'm not doing a very good job of explaining this, but it's like that, but with like a cream filling. That's not actually cream because it wouldn't keep in the shelves forever. Oh, that's so good. Let's open the next one. You might think I'm kidding when I say, like, ha, huh, you can close them. That's a nice feature for people with self control. I'm not kidding. These will all be gone in like two hours. That's. It's not, oh, oh, are these the same and I'm just stupid? Oh, these were the same. Oh, just, oh, I get it. I was, I see. Both of these open the same way. Like a little box with a bag inside. This one is our thick strawberry one. It really does show some strawberry flecks in it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's definitely strawberry. Ooh. It's almost spicy. Is that, is that right? Can sweet things be spicy? Yes. Spicy is the wrong word. We don't want. We don't mean that. The moment I've been looking for. Let us cafe latte. Well, what's this? There's a whole bunch of broken ones in here. That's why the box one is better. Guess this one's got broken bits in it. They're all gonna have broken bits. So here's our cafe latte one. Wow, does that ever taste like coffee? Holy hell! Ooh, look, I made a stoplight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a traffic light. Wait, where's, where's, where's where red? Red's at the bottom, right? Red means stop. White means slow down or hurry the hell up. And brown, we're gonna pretend brown's green. Because that's cool. It's stoplight, but I don't know how to stop. Ooh, they're good together. Is that rude? I'm eating on camera. Sorry. Particularly the cream and the coffee, which really shouldn't be all that shocking. I think everybody talks about the exciting varieties of Kit Kat in Japan, but we have Kit Kat in Canada and United States and other countries. This one's Japan and it's yummy and there's lots of them, just like there's lots of the Kit Kat. I can't even hold them all, there's so many. So, I like snacks. <laughs> 